Okay, here we are again. Same screen, just little torpedoes, but I think I'm pretty good here. I'm kind of liking what's going on here. These are T2s, so I think what I'm going to do is try to get rid of these guys. Take two. My T3s just took on the outside, even though it's not historically accurate. Um, game allows it, so this allows us to put to more backups of the gas torpedoes, because I think we're going to be using more of the gas torpedoes. Um, because of their increased speed, and like I said, I'm going to talk about that later when we get into the details of this. These are going to be torpedoes of last resort if we need to take a tail shot, so I'm not so worried about having the T1s back there. Um, I mean, the, T the T2s. And uh, I think that's it. We've got 140 renown left over. Um, we'll leave this where it is right here, and this will be our torpedo loadout for our initial patrol. I'm not going to spend too much time on the crew, since we're fully manned. Um, there might be some people who have might be better moved from one side to another, but I don't really want to bore you guys with having some more of that. So let's go ahead and exit there. Let's look at the options here. Typically, I play 100% full, re full realism. You know, I might mix it up every once in a while just for fun or experimentation. Now, we're doing a Let's Play. So, Let's Play is going to change things a little bit because I need to make this some more exciting for you guys out there. So, I'm thinking I may want to have the event camera and the external view on um, so I can show you the ship, show you. Uh, uh, give you different demonstrations, show you different views, and uh, keep things exciting. So, although they might uh, cancel each other, I mean, if I have the external view, I can zoom in on a boat. I don't need the event camera, which pretty much just like shows when a torpedo hits a boat, so on and so forth. So I think what I'll do is I'll take just the external view. Now what I want is some feedback at some point. If you guys want me to start another campaign with 100% realism, or maybe if you want me to change some of these options. I know a lot of the other guys I'm making Let's Plays have map contacts on, except for maybe Frontier. Um, and, and that really makes them able to do a lot of things that may be almost impossible to do. Like they'll be able to uh, put in some coordinates or even fire a torpedo and watch where the torpedo is going relative to the ship, make adjustments on their torpedo track and fire again. There will be no ship for comparison purposes, so we won't be able to make those kind of adjustments. It, you, you, you take your measurements, you take your shot, and you don't know exactly how accurate that was unless you're watching a bubble trail or something like that. So, And also, it makes you know attacking destroyers and stuff that's that much more difficult because that lack of map update gives you less of an ability to kind of tell where that's at and make a, a good set of shots or a good spread on it. So I think we'll leave it right there for now. You know, give me feedback. Like I said, we can run uh, other games. This is going to be a vanilla run. Uh, it's kind of late in telling you guys that, but we're running just a vanilla uh, 1.5 Silent Hunter no mods at all. Um, if we want to do some mods later, um, we can run another campaign with mods um, for uh, whatever. I heard there's some pretty good environmental mods we could try throwing on there. People have ideas for mods that they'd like me to try. I could, you know, add it in for maybe a patrol or um, same thing for these things. When we turn on map contacts for one patrol, so I can show you that you can do some pretty exciting stuff with the map contacts being on. Because you can see the torpedoes hitting them on the attack screen, so on and so forth. And you can do some pretty um, cool maneuvers. And uh, you, you know exactly where the, uh, the warships are and you can avoid them, so on and so forth. But we'll leave it like this 92% realism, external view turned on for your guys' benefit. And we'll leave it at that. Are you sure? I guess so. So, no further ado. Um, don't need to load the game. No medals. I think we've pretty much shown everything here within the base. And we're going to go out on our first mission. June 2nd, 1943. Mapper Wagner. 
U847 depart from depart on June 3rd, 1943. Your submarine will take on board 10 tons of critical war material brought from the fatherland. These are to be delivered in the harbor of Bangkok, where they will be taken over by Japanese representatives. It is vital that these that the material is delivered in good shape. Objective: Reach the naval base in Bangkok and deliver the supplies. Sincerely yours, German people. Blah 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 blah. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna start out outside the harbor. Um, once again, if you guys want to see me run from inside the harbor. Um, we can we can do all of that, or maybe from our initial voyage, maybe we should just go ahead and start docked this one time, and then we can start outside the harbor. And maybe we'll go that route. Why not? Um, Tail Hunter typically has pretty long loading screens. I'm running a pretty uh, gnarly computer system over here. Um, I may make a little side video on that if you guys want more yes, information on the system that I'm running for this. But the load screens, as you see, are pretty quick with the setup that I have. Um, you see, we got some indicators going on over here. Um, let's go ahead and check them out. New objective, we already know, take supplies over to Bangkok. This is the same with shallow water. And this would actually allow us to dock, which uh, we haven't left dock yet. So, um, zooming in on the map, this is the map. Where are we? We're right here. Wow, what an easy way to navigate out. <laughs> Just go straight out into the ocean. All right. Um, so, this seems pretty simplistic. Um, one of the things I can say about other people who I've seen sometimes try to leave dock on a I'm not going to name names, but a couple different people and a couple different Let's Plays, uh, they start their boat moving, then then plot their course. But it's a smart idea here is just plot your course before you even start your initial movements. Um, so what this allows is your boat is not going to start finishing or start moving until you finished your plotted course by right clicking and uh, clicking off that icon. So it will not obey your your orders until you have clicked off of it. So meanwhile, if you start your boat moving and you think it's following your orders, it's really not until you finished your uh, putting in your courses. You can see how it says my boat's not moving right now. It hasn't started following my orders yet. So um, one thing we can cover right off the bat here. There's Bangkok, by the way. One thing we can cover off the bat is, um, and I know a couple people mentioned it in their Let's Plays, but uh, there are small islands on these maps that you don't see out here. Like, you see how these, some of those islands kind of disappeared? Well, e even more so on a very small scale. Uh, you'll, there'll be nothing there. You'll put a path across a clean mark of land, or a clean, you know, looks like a clean route through water, and there's a big island right there in the middle of that you'll just end up plowing through, and it will blow you up. So, um... I will go back and I will revisit um, this course to make sure that we did not, in fact, plot ourselves through an island. Um, I'm not really worried about going in shallows at this point because I believe this is pretty much uh, friendly territory. So here we are. Um, for the delivery of the goods, you want to get really close to it and then come to a complete stop. And also right click off the path, my set path. Now my boat begins moving and it will follow my directions. Now if I hadn't done that initially, it, it would have been doing all kinds of things and going off on its own until I finished that. So if I started it moving, I could crash into something. Now I know it's going to follow my path and I don't have to worry about it crashing into anything. So. Since I have watched uh, a lot of Let's Plays, um, I'll be able to point out some of the, my differences between uh, you know, other submarine captains that we've been watching, or um, similarities. Because uh, I think I'm going to be uh, uh, pretty fairly aggressive compared to maybe some of the other people you've seen. Um, but uh, we'll get into that later, and I'll just make it self-apparent. Um, we're getting towards the 10 minutes again. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to pause it, and then stop the video, restart it, and then pause it.